This is John Beasley and this is my road to the Grammys. I was surrounded by music. Um, I'm third generation musician. My grandfather was a Dixieland trombone player in the South. My mom and dad met each other at a band camp. They became music educators. So I'm a product of public school arts education. One of the places I grew up in was in Denton, Texas, and that was home to like a, a whole university full of big bands. My dad brought home big band records, uh, Thad Jones, Mel Lewis, Quincy Jones, Walking in Space. And from that moment on, I started playing the records in my bedroom and pretending like I'm playing in their bands. And that prepared me to play with Chaka Khan and to, to play R&B dates. I was about 13, I think. My first real big touring gig was Sergio Mendez. I knew a little bit about Brazilian music, but not a lot. He gave me cassettes of Edu Lobo and Gilberto Gil and Yvonne Lins. And I took him and I was like, holy cow, what is this, man? Also in the band was Oscar Castro Neves, who's a fantastic arranger and guitarist from Brazil. Sebastian Neto was playing bass. So they started teaching me rhythms and Sergio's a pianist, so I was peeping his stuff. Eventually I became a musical director for him and rehearsed the band. And when Walter Becker kind of came back to working again after Steely Dan, he started hiring me for his record dates. While I was on the road, uh, Walter uh, ended up getting an imprint on Wyndham Hill Jazz and asked me in to, to be a part of the label, you know? So he produced my first two records. Jazz musicians and musicians tended to, to bring up their own. My first Grammy nomination was for a record called Positively, and it was my first jazz record after quite a while. To be in the jazz category really meant a lot to me. And then after that, I formed a band called Monkestra. We started out playing the music of Thelonious Monk. It's a trilogy, we had three records out. So we got two nominations each for those records, Best Large Ensemble and Best Arrangement. And my first Grammy win was uh, for Best Arrangement for the third record. With Maria Mendez, I had her Best Arrangement as well. This year I'm nominated for three Grammys, one for Best Large Ensemble Record. Bird Lives by John Beasley, Magnus Lindgren, and SWR Big Band. One for Best Arrangement and one for Best Jazz Solo. The project is called uh, Bird Lives and it's an homage to the great Charlie Parker. It's a big band with the string section and about seven guest artists, all saxophone players. I knew that Charlie Parker's 100th anniversary was coming up in 2020. So I said, we should do a bird project. And they, they all went, yeah, let's do that. So gigs are booked, the pandemic hits, right? But in that period, I had the idea that to kind of go to switch up a little bit and maybe we should layer this. These parameters sometimes, you know, you have to push through these things or find creative ways around it. So we gathered all the, all the overdubs together and started mixing. I guess people heard it enough to appreciate it. You know, this is musicians and artists voting. It's a tight knit thing. So to have your peers, people that you respect, recognize your work, man, that's, that's it. That's the ultimate thing. <laughs>